In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can wrap um, a logo around a circular object inside PhotoP. Um, so I'm going to leave this cup um, image down in the description. So if you want to use it, you can. Um, so if we, so make sure you have your logo layer selected. And if we just bring it on top of your cup or the object that you want to wrap around, it doesn't look too realistic. So to fix that, um, make sure you have your logo layer selected. Go to edit at the top, free transform, and then click wrap over here. And then um, this should appear. So you just want to go over to this icon over here where my mouse is. And it should say none, so click it. And then all these options should appear. So if you want to um, make, so if it's a circular logo, um, I recommend doing one of these arcs, like lower arc, sorry, arc lower. But if it's just a square or a not circle logo, just click custom. But if it's a circle logo like mine, just click lower arc. And then these lines and shapes should appear. So you just want to hold this, click one of these boxes, hold it down and drag it up or down like that. Do the same thing for the other side. So when doing this, um, I recommend making it symmetrical so it looks better. Um, so basically you just want to click one of these boxes, um, hold your mouse down and drag in or out like that. So what this does is it makes it look like it's on the object. So I'm just going to make the Fanta all on the cup. This um, might take some time, it depends how perfect you want it to look. But yeah, just make it look as best as you can. And once you're happy with it, you can just press this tick mark over here like that. And that's, so now it looks a bit better now. It actually has the shape that's on the cup. But to make it look even more realistic, go over to your layers tab over here. And um, this should appear right here. Um, it says normal, click it and click multiply. So what this does is the um, photo P automatically does the color correction to make it look like, so it matches the background color like that. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I can help you. Um, so yeah, um, bye guys.